Eight of the best office designer fragrances on the planet. Let's go. What's going on YouTube? I'm the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. This is the fashion and fragrance channel. So if you like looking good and smelling great every day, and I mean every day, <laughs> then this is gonna be a channel that you may find some value in. And if so, subscribe to the channel, man. Make sure you hit the bell icon as well. So that way, anytime I upload a new video, you'll be one of the first people to get notified. All right, guys, today we are doing a tag video. Eight of the best office fragrances on the entire planet. Now, this video was originally done by, of course, uh, Kevin Samuels. All right, and this is a kind of a tribute video tag. So when I heard what this was about, of course, I had to jump on it. About two years ago, he did a, a video with the same title, uh, Eight of the Best Office Fragrances on the Planet. And I was tagged by my guy, Bro Sense, uh, Tyrone. Uh, over at the channel bro sense so man i appreciate the tag like i said when i found out you know what it was what the tag was definitely knew i was going to jump on this so guys if you have not seen his channel please do me a favor i know at one point in time he was trying to really get to a thousand subscribers looks like he's made that landmark so congratulations to you uh bro so you guys do this for me man when this video drops i'm gonna go back and check probably about a week later Let's get them to at least 1500 Guys, it does not cost anything to subscribe. So show that man some love. Show him some support. I know he's been putting in a lot of work on his channel. So come on, guys. At least 500 of you. When you see this video, just go over to his channel. I'll link it down below. And subscribe to his channel. Subscribe to his channel. Let's get him up to 1500 subscribers. Do that for your boy. So we're keeping the list to designer fragrances. So that's all you're going to see on this video. So I'm going to run the intro. And when we come back, eight of the best designer fragrances on the planet. Let's get into it. The Bowtie Fragrance Guy. All right, guys, we're back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked in. Let's jump right into the video. Now, listen, I actually went back and watched uh, Kevin's video when he actually did this, and I already had my fragrances picked out, and I went back and changed some of them because we would have had almost the exact same list. So I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a variety. I know there are certain fragrances that you're going to see on every list for people that do this, but some fragrances you just cannot omit and call it the best. So with that being said, let's get into it. My first fragrance, uh, this one was released, uh, I wanna say last year, and this is from the brand of Giorgio Armani, and this is Aqua Digio Eau de Parfum. Aqua Digio Eau de Parfum. Now this is one of the ones that I went and kinda of changed it out, because again, I had already picked my fragrances out, and um, you know, Kevin had uh, Aqua Digio uh, Parfum. Uh, I'm sorry, Aqua Digio Profumo. I'm sorry, uh, the Parfum is the new one. I'll be talking about that soon. But he had the Profumo on there, and I would have put that solely. And I wanted to change it up a little bit, but this is a great office fragrance. It has, you know, that uh, aquatic vibe that we're used to from most of the fragrances from the Aqua Digio line of fragrances. But I love the use of lavender here. And when I think of lab, when I think of office fragrances, that you guys know, I like Fougères. I think a Fougère or Sheeper is the best fragrance to pair with a suit and tie and because i think office environment i think at least business casual so you know sport coat at least in a, a dress shirt so again these type fragrances are going to work in that lavender although this is an aquatic type fragrance does give that clean almost fougere feel to this scent profile and i really enjoy it it's great for the office so check it out it is from the brand of giorgio armani and this is aqua digio or the platform all right, guys, now the next fragrance that I want to talk about is a fragrance I personally uh, ranted and raved about. It was released in 2020, and this is from the uh, brand of YSL, and this is Long Le Parfum. Long Le Parfum. This is just, again, when you think office, think inoffensive. That's one of the first things that comes to mind when I think about a great office fragrance, something that is going to be more than likely universally received, easy to wear, and inoffensive and this definitely falls into that category uh you have some 
Geranium in here, that's one of the notes you're gonna see in quite a few fragrances um, that I'm gonna talk about today. Geranium, uh, there's lemon, there's basil in here as well. That amber wood when it dries down again. Very, very easy to wear. Uh, personally, I get a lot of compliments on this fragrance. And again, because it's so inoffensive and it's so well received by most people, in my opinion, it makes it a great office fragrance. So check it out. This is from the brand of YSL. And again, it's called Long Le Parfum. All right, guys, the next fragrance on the list, this fragrance actually comes from the brand of Gucci. And this is Gucci Guilty Parfum. All right, Gucci Guilty Parfum. This is the, not the original, but this one was released in 2022. Kind of flew under the radar in my humble opinion but this thing is so freaking good this is an amazing fragrance one of my favorite releases from 2022 uh in all honesty um again what are you gonna find here lavender the lavender here i love the lavender how it plays with the spices in this fragrance primarily the note of nutmeg amazing fragrance gonna get that kind of masculine feel when it dries down with that musk perfect for an office scenario Again, you guys need to check this one out. This one kind of flew under the radar, but if you're talking about office fragrances, this is one of the best in class. So check it out. It's from the brand of Gucci. This is Gucci Guilty Parfum Pour On. There we go. All right, guys. Now, the next fragrance up on the list, I could not leave this particular line of fragrances off. And honestly, you could make your pick of which uh, iteration of this fragrance you choose. I went with the EDP, and this is from the house of Chanel. This is Boudé Chanel or the Parfum. Boudé Chanel Eau de Parfum, again, you can choose the, the EDP, the EDT, the Parfum, does not matter. Uh, this fragrance is great for the office. You talk about a fragrance that set the bar for blue, for the blue fragrance DNA, and again, most blue fragrances work in an office setting, man. You got some mint in here, you have some lemon, some aldehydes, um, nutmeg, incense, sandalwood, again, just an amazing fragrance. And again, it works so good in an office setting because of all the things I mentioned before, it's easy to wear, it smells good to most people, and it's very inoffensive. So check it out. Of course, great for the office. Any of these will work. This is Blue de Chanel or the Parfum. All right, guys, and this is a fragrance that he, Kevin mentioned on his list, but I could not do this without this particular fragrance. This one is from the, the house of Tom Ford, and this is Grey Vetiver EDP, Eau de Parfum. Eau de Parfum. Now, the EDT has been discontinued, um, so good luck trying to find that one. And they've come out with the new Parfum, which I have not tried yet. Uh, you guys know how I feel about Flanker as a Flanker. Uh, but I probably will at least try it, because if it's anything like this one, as good as this one, then it may be worth still adding to the collection. This is the fragrance that Kevin said, the Marlboro Man steps off of the billboard, because it's just so masculine and so good. And that's the best way to describe this fragrance. You can wear this in the office, and again, like I said, it's not going to offend anybody. It's going to be very masculine, going to uh, be very well paired with a nice suit, a shirt, and a tie, all right? Of course, you're gonna get vetiver in this thing, but when it dries down, man, there's some more uh, masculine notes that really come into here that really kind of ground this fragrance and really kind of cement it as a great masculine office fragrance. And I'm talking about notes, of course, outside of the vetiver. Uh, you're going to get some orris root uh, in this particular scent. And uh, just a really, really nice, masculine, grounded note of oak moss to really kind of, you know, uh, cement this as a nice, masculine office fragrance. So check this one out. It's from the brand of Tom Ford. And again, this is Grey Vetiver or the Parfum. All right, guys, and next up is an aromatic fougere, which I've already said fougeres are great for the office, that does not get anywhere near the amount of credit that it deserves. This is from the brand of Narciso Rodriguez, and this is for him. This is for him. This is a fragrance that a lot of people said smells like wet cement. Again, I don't, I don't know. I don't quite get that reference. Maybe the color of it. But anyway, uh, it's very great for the office. Again, it's a fougere. It's a fougere. It's, it's inexpensive, so you can find it for a great price, and it works in the office setting. Violet leaves, lavender, patchouli, amber. Those are the main notes that you're gonna get from this fragrance. Again, dynamite for the office. Fougeres work in an office setting, okay? So take that one to your bank. But this is a really good, inexpensive designer fragrance that is as good as most fougeres that you're gonna find out there on the market. So check this one out from the brand of Narciso Rodriguez. This is simply called For Him.
All right, guys, this is another fragrance that you're probably going to see on everybody's list that does this. And just, this is one you just can't leave off and call it the best office designer fragrances. But this is from the brand of Prada, and this is Prada Lone. Prada Lone, and this has been dubbed as the quintessential office designer fragrance. And I understand why it's kind of been given that title, because it, it is. It just is going to work uh, in the office setting and really year-round. Signature scent worthy. Uh, but it's centered around a note of iris now there's also some violet in here so you get a double dose of that kind of powdery nuance so that's why it's so powdery because not only does it have iris but it also has violet all right so you get that in here but some additional freshness is added to the dna uh from notes like uh geranium so again amazing fragrance great for the office can't do office fragrances without this one from the house of prada this is prada Lone. And last but not least, guys, another one that I could not do this list without from the house of Hermes. This is Terre de Hermes. And this is the original Eau de Toilette. Guys, my bottle has a nice dent for good reason. Again, I dress up oftentimes uh, in the office, and this is a fragrance that is just very easy to wear, very dumb reach kind of scent when you talk about office fragrances. Of course, it is also centered around a note of vetiver that really earthy masculine gun flint that is in here with the orange citrus notes up top, just absolutely dynamite. Although I haven't been on a job interview in a long time, but this is one of the fragrances I used to like to rock for like a job interview. It's just perfect, man. Perfect for the office, perfect for business. So if you don't have this yet in your collection, do yourself a favor and pick yourself up a bottle of this one right here from the house of Hermes. This is Terre de Hermes or the Toilette. But that is it, guys. That is my time. Once again, bro, since thank you for tagging me on this video. And because it is a tag, I'm just tagging two people off the top of my head that I know that rocks with me. So I'm going to tag Big Beard. I'm going to tag EQ. Guys, if you don't mind, knock this one out. Again, it's a tribute to our guy, Kevin Samuel. So like I said, I know you guys are going to jump on it. When I heard what it was, I had to jump on it. Now, as always, I sincerely appreciate you guys' time and attention to these videos. I know you don't have to watch, but you do. And I sincerely appreciate that. And don't forget to make sure you take a few moments to go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure you are sharing these videos out to some other folks out there that you think could use this information or find it entertaining. Because I'm your guy, Darren. I'm the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I love to look good, and of course, I love to smell amazing. So until next time, guys, keep looking good. Keep smelling even better. I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace.